Hi everyone, Professor Tanya Hertz here. I am going to talk to you a little bit tonight about how you can use Zoom to record videos and then turn those videos into something that you can share by uploading them to YouTube. So uh, I'll start by, by talking a little bit about uh, the kinds of videos that you can make and um, we'll focus really on videos uh, where it's just you, um, such as uh, elevator pitches, um, even really short elevator pitches uh, or, or value prop videos or uh, tutorial videos. And Zoom is a really great tool for this because you can record both yourself and your screen simultaneously, really easy and using the free version. So um, the way you're gonna wanna start is you will start by logging into Zoom and um, let me go ahead and share my screen. And you're gonna log into Zoom, like I said, uh, you'll set up the meeting there. Uh, in, in Zoom, you'll start the meeting. And then as soon as the meeting is started, you will <clears throat> um, make sure that your camera and your microphone are both on. And that's really important, especially when you are uh, doing a, an elevator pitch or you're selling yourself, essentially. Um, you don't just wanna have your, your PowerPoints going. You'll want your the video of you as well. So you'll start with your camera and your microphone on, and then you'll go back down to the Zoom bar and you will um, click more and record or um, or just record depending on um, what um, or how it's displayed. But um, in essence, you want to get to the record button. Right? So once you're recording, you can then uh, click the little green uh, button at the bottom with the arrow pointing up, which is uh, share screen. <laughs> and then you can, um, while your camera is still on, you can share your screen. And then if you have slides for your elevator pitches, you can share those slides and go over go over it as you go. You can do this. Um, this is also a good way to uh, record your your longer pitch deck video, or like I said, your even your your one sentence introductory uh, video or value prop pitch. It's um, this is a great way to to do it. And just make sure that whatever if you are recording an elevator pitch, um, that it always has the who, the, the why, the what. So who you are and why you're the right team to some start this company, the why um, is it in essence, why um, this is your value prop. This is why people care, why you're solving this problem for your uh, market right now. And this is a section where you might wanna put the, the size of the market, the money you could potentially make. And then finally, the what is what are you selling? And you wanna get to this very quickly. You don't wanna leave people hanging. Um, you, you wanna let them know very, very soon what it is that you're trying to sell. So that's how you, um, would make the video. Then as soon as you're done going over your slides, you would uh, stop the uh, share, thank them for coming, and then stop the recording. Now, once you've actually stopped the recording, um, you're ready to turn this video, to download the video, and then turn it into um, something that you share on YouTube. So you would stop recording, go back over to your uh, Zoom, and then Go over on the left here, you see recordings. And then here are the recordings. This is what I'm recording right at this moment. You can also go through and look at um, all of the other uh, you know, recordings that, that you've made. Um, let's click on one of these. So you click on the recording. This one looks like it was a class that I actually recorded. You can then download the files right there or you can go and download the individual. So you can see here, there are several different ways that Zoom records your, your um, meetings. And so you, uh, if you wanted to, to get creative and edit and things like this, you can download all of them and, and play around with it. But if you just wanna do it really quick, you know, the quick and dirty way, um, just click on uh, the shared screen with speaker view and that will, will uh, give, both you and the um, and the screen that you're sharing in the video, and then it doesn't bog down your computer as much by downloading all of them. So click on this little uh, download um, arrow with a line underneath it. It's right there. You can also tell that you've downloaded the right one because MP4 will show. Uh, MP4 is both video and audio. Um, you can also download the audio uh, transcript uh, and uh, chat file if you, this is just something good to know if you uh, have a meeting and you wanna go back to the chat, but the audio transcript, the reason why you would download that is so that you could upload your own um, closed captions into Zoom, or you can let Zoom, uh, I'm sorry, I take it back into YouTube, or you can let YouTube um, 
use the auto generated uh, closed captions, but I will give you one little word of warning on that. And that is that um, you do want to check those closed captions just to make sure that they've um, there's not too many errors in there. So then once you have downloaded from Zoom your file, you want to go over to YouTube, open up YouTube. You want to upload that recording, hit, hit <laughs> press create, click upload video right there. So select the file, bring it in, drag and drop. And then you'll want to write um, a, a good catchy title and a good catchy description. This is just the automatic um, description that I've set up for all the videos that we make at the rec. And then um, also just as importantly as your title and your description is the thumbnail. And I'm going to end this video here and I'll record another video telling you how to, um, how to make an effective thumbnail. So I hope that this was a helpful video for all of you and um, can't wait to see all of your recordings.